Hey everybody, welcome back. Let's shame those weddings. Am I the a-hole for ruining my work colleague's wedding and getting them arrested? I mean, what? The title sounds bad, but hear me out. All right, I'm waiting. I don't have my gavel here, but I will stomp should I need to. I, 38 female, had two work colleagues, Mary and Adam, both in their late 20s to early 30s. Mary started in the company first and then she got Adam to join. They worked in different departments and Mary was in mine. Later, Mary left the company to pursue another career. When they started at the company, they were already married for a few years. Now Mary is the kindest and loveliest person I've ever met. She was always polite, helpful, and would cheer anyone up. We missed her dearly. So it came to a shock when we found out she was divorcing Adam because he cheated on her. I've called her to express how sorry I am that this has happened, and we were talking almost daily ever since. I was impressed how well Mary holds herself in such a situation. She wouldn't badmouth Adam, and the only thing she mentioned was how her wedding dress and a few family heirlooms went missing when she was moving her stuff from the apartment. She thought they might be misplaced in a different box and will turn up eventually. A few years passed, I now work in the same department as Adam. He's a good work colleague, but can be dismissive and ignorant sometimes. Adam invited me to his wedding with the lady, Chelsea, he had cheated on Mary with. As the entire department was invited, I said yes, making sure Mary's okay with it. I've also told her where the wedding will be. It's not too far from where she lives and we could go for some drinks after if she wanted to. On the day of Adam's wedding, I've noticed that Chelsea is wearing a similar dress that Mary wore in the photos of hers and Adam's wedding years ago. Shut the front door. Stop it. Stop it. She stole the wedding dress. She stole it. Oh my god, they stole it. They stole the wedding dress. Go on. So without thinking, I've snapped a picture to send it to Mary with the caption saying, doesn't this dress look familiar? Mary saw the message, but she didn't respond. And about an hour later, the police show up at the venue. <gasps> I need to add the police in our country is ruthless and any theft is considered a real criminal matter for the police to deal with. Police asked Chelsea to take off the dress and all the jewelry. Chelsea refused and started arguing with them. And then Adam joined in. As they were rude to the police, they were taken to the police station. Everyone at the wedding had to leave. I have tried to call Mary, but she wouldn't pick up the phone. As we found out later, Chelsea was wearing Mary's wedding dress and her heirlooms. Cough, are you serious? That is so messed up. Mary spotted them on her in the picture I sent her and called the police. You know what? Fair, literally fair. I am here for this pettiness and uh, I do not regret anything. Apparently she'd previously asked Adam if he had them and he declined saying he never saw them. So after she saw the picture, she knew she was lying and stole them. What? A friggin' butthead. Chelsea had to leave the wedding dress and jewelry at the police station and go home wearing her underwear and Adam's jacket after they were bailed out. Yesterday, Adam returned to the office and went completely mental at me, blaming me for sending a picture to Mary and ruining his wedding. He would also call me an a-hole for what I did. You ruined your own wedding by stealing your ex-wife's wedding dress and heirlooms. Actions have consequences. Say it with me. Hell no. Hell no! Uh uh. Mm -mm. All right, so I'm gonna go with not the a hole. I feel like this is pretty much a non starter, in my opinion. What the actual. <laughs> but let's see what Reddit had to say. So Adam cheated on his wife, stole her wedding dress and her heirloom jewelry, then passed them on to his new fiance, who may or may not have known. That's a good point. She might not have known. All you did was alert the ex-wife, you didn't call the cops. She did because she knew the background of him stealing from her and lying about it. I think it's pretty clear that Adam's the a-hole and possibly the police for the very severe way they handled it. Not the a-hole. Not the a-hole. I can't believe he would give his ex-wife's wedding dress and family jewelry to his new wife to wear in their wedding. I wonder if the new wife was told where he got them. I'd almost guarantee he made up a story about them being his family heirlooms. Yeah. Honestly, I think it's a lot more believable that the new fiance wouldn't know that she was wearing stolen stolen items. I think that's a little bit more believable than they just like, you know, hijacked all of her old stuff and then like wore them to the new wedding. You're kind of dumb about it. Obviously there's gonna be pictures of it. You invited someone who knew the ex-wife, a lot of people who knew the ex-wife actually, and you didn't think that someone would notice and let her know? Come on now. I'd say not the a-hole. If you're friends with her, the dress seemed familiar and you didn't have any idea she would take it as far as calling the police. In the end, not so much the dress. Who cares after ended marriage? But her heirloom jewelry is another story and she deserved to have it back. Yeah, 100%. Dude, 
The wedding dress is one thing, like it was probably expensive, but it's not really something that you would wear again. An heirloom is something that you would pass on to your children, that your grandparents had probably passed on to you. It's really important and probably worth a lot of money. So the fact that like, it is stealing at the end of the day, that is stealing. Not the a-hole, you didn't do anything wrong. And in my opinion, people that cheat deserve every ounce of karma coming their way. Say a lot of the people in the back. Well done on helping Mary get that little bit of revenge. I hope it makes her day feel a little bit better. All right, guys, you let me know. Was this person the a-hole for getting her ex-husband arrested at his own wedding? I'm gonna go with not the a-hole. And this right here is your reminder to subscribe. Scoop, scrub, subscribe. I will do that again if you subscribe. I will. We got a list of wedding rules on a note. We are gonna assess if this person is a bridezilla or not. Wedding rules. Number one, no kids. Some exceptions. Number two, don't wear white. I think that goes without saying. Number three, bridesmaids can pick their outfit, just match color. Okay, reasonable so far. Four, no one else wears white. You said that already. Five, if you weren't invited, you're not welcome. Okay. Six, no garter. All right. Seven, bridesmaids are all, they're all gay. They have to be gay. All right then. So you'd rather someone be gay than be close to you? That's kind of weird, but it's your wedding, I guess. Number eight, my mom has creative say over everything, day of. Yes, sir. Nine, take advantage of open bar. Thank you, I will. Wait, is that do take advantage or don't take advantage? Number 10, no drunk drivers. Number 11, vendors get treated as guests when they take breaks. That's kind of nice, okay. I gotta be honest, this, uh, this list of rules does not seem too outlandish. It is your wedding after all. I'm gonna say you're not a bridezilla, okay? Not a bridezilla. I think maybe it's just people's tendencies to say, well, if a bride wants something out of her wedding, then she's a bridezilla. It's like, no, you're spending money. If you have expectations for your guests and your wedding party, I think it goes without saying that you are allowed to have a list of wedding rules. Apparently most of the people were supportive. So let's go with this is exactly what to do when you do want rules at your wedding. These are completely reasonable requests. Anybody who's planning a wedding, if your wedding list of rules looks like this, you are not a bridezilla. Some of my favorite unique <laughs> vintage bridesmaids dresses, look at that. Oh, what the hell. This is what we call antique. But I don't think that that was cool even, even back in the day, like I don't. <laughs> I don't see that being cool even in the 50s or the 60s or whenever this photo was taken. Uh... <laughs> the bride looks great though. That's kind of just mean. You're, you're putting your wedding party in those dresses. You're doing that on purpose, man. Couple posted a TikTok of unique things they did at their wedding, one of which being unity milk. What the hell's that? You chug some milk together and like, is that like the new like blood thing? Is that like the new blood oath? Chug some milk? or unity. Chugging this milk means we are one. Does it? <laughs> Does it though? I, I, if you say so. Vegan option at a wedding. What the hell is that? Is that, is that food? <laughs> is that supposed to like fill my stomach if I'm a vegan? It doesn't look like it. That's just some melon and some arugula, maybe, maybe a little bit of balsamic. That's it. Bride has to have a child-free wedding, especially with new restrictions on guest count. Guest demands to bring their son, 18, daughter, 23, three grandchildren, and a dog to the wedding. Bride puts her foot down and guests ominously end the friendship with ellipses. I saw the wedding info. It still says no kids for the ceremony. Listen, going to events like that surrounded by strangers is already way out of my comfort zone. I already can't bring my dog to this location. And since it's no kids, my kids can't come and blah, 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 can't come. This essentially excludes us from attending. I see you removed me from the group chat and I would like to remind you that we talked about this already and I was very clear that I would not attend if you went through with a no kids wedding, regardless of the reasons. So-and-so said you removed her too. I guess you realize that your response to this effectively ends our friendship as well. And that's your right. I'm sorry it's come to this, but there's only so many allowed. Hopefully you choose wisely. Don't ever contact me again. I mean, you literally said that you weren't gonna come if you couldn't bring the kids and it's a child-free wedding, so I guess you can't come. It's just kind of the way it is. You don't have to go to the wedding, it's not a big deal. But if you're using that as like a friendship ending condition for your friendship, I, yeah, I don't know, maybe you guys shouldn't be friends.
Just saying. Shot a wedding today. A huge fight broke out. Fist fight between the two families. Literally half the guests left. I wanted to leave, but I couldn't because I hadn't reached the allotted time and I have nothing in my contract about it. Do you have anything in your contract about something like this? If so, what do you have or what would you put? Edit to add, the fight was because some people were religious, not sure what kind of religion, but they didn't want to be around people drinking. And the other family didn't want to accommodate them because they hadn't told them before the wedding that they weren't okay with drinks at the wedding. When they started arguing, the bride, who is pregnant, started to feel cramps and her mom started to get scared. One of the groomsmen held the mom back from being able to check on her daughter because he was trying to let her breathe. Groomsmen got punched in the face because mom is a G <laughs> and was worried about her daughter and they all started fighting. Plus mom was already pissed at the situation and paid for the whole wedding. I'm sure there's a lot of backstory, but I don't know these people personally and I wouldn't want to, to be honest. That sounds hella messy. That's not really something that you like add to a contract. I feel like that's a little bit of an anomaly. <laughs> what to do if the clients, if the wedding party get in a huge fight and you want to leave? I guess that could be some under like a safety clause. Like if you feel like you're at risk then and, and you need to leave the wedding, then that would be kind of just something that you say. Like, I felt unsafe at this wedding, therefore I left. That's my advice. Help, help, help. My sister, who was my maid of honor last week, decided to get a half sleeve on her shoulder and I only just found out from her boyfriend's Facebook post. She didn't tell me she had any intentions on getting the tattoo when I asked her last year to be my maid of honor for my wedding in March. The dresses we have for them are already chosen and is a one shoulder dress and definitely not the look I want for my photos. There is such a thing as makeup. Calm down. I know I'm being selfish, but she never told me and didn't warn me she was getting it. That's because it's literally none of your business. None of your business. My wedding's at a manor and it has sparkles and chandeliers and the fairy tale look. What do I do? You do absolutely nothing. <laughs> I need help and advice here. I'm devastated and so is my fiance. You're, you're what? You're devastated? Are you just? Advice, advice, advice. I have a situation where my wedding date so happens to fall on a bridesmaid's two year anniversary of the day her and her boyfriend met. When I told her the date and that it was between that date or my own brother's birthday, she got upset and told me she's disappointed in me. I'm taking the day away from her. She is upset and needs time to process. She also told another bridesmaid what I did and that person informed me. I have talked to other people and everyone thinks I did nothing wrong. She has since not responded to texts of mine nor in the bridal party group chat. What do I do? I am torn to text her and explain how I feel and if she can't support me during this or is going to be standoffish then I no longer want or need her involved or do I actually give her the time to process my own wedding? It's been almost a week. Thanks for the help. She just asked if you could like give her a little bit of time. Like she didn't say that she didn't want to be in the wedding. She just said that she needed a little bit of time. Maybe she needs a little bit of time to maybe plan around it. I don't know. It's not that big of a deal. But the fact that you're so torn up about it, maybe think, me thinks maybe you would think you did something wrong. And lastly, a horrible guest pulls attention from a couple at their own wedding. How dare he? How dare he? And he wore white. Inconceivable. A He's so happy. <gasps> I want to pet him. Alrighty, guys. We just shamed some weddings. That was a good one. I enjoyed that. Don't forget. Subscribe.